want to break you break this thing out so the first thing to do is just clone the repo then you have to go to digital ocean and create your token here and then save it somewhere because you have to use it in the first step of this tutorial so the first thing to do is to export your digital ocean API token okay just take this one the here and paste your token here I already did it so it's okay for me so the first step to do is to use Baker just take a look at what's inside it okay so we are going to create a snapshot so the first thing to do uh, <clears throat> is to create a, a snapshot inside DigitalOcean uh, so we, will, we are going to create a droplet taking a snapshot of it and then put the, put the droplet down and we get an image with all the stuff we need already installed I'm using Ubuntu here but you can you know can tweak to use uh, some other Linux distribution <clears throat> so Baker we take care to create the image as described inside this JSON file so let's take a look at what's going and uh, another thing I'm going to let's say clone the output because I need to use it as a second step so just copy this and paste it let's take a look of what's happening in my dashboard here Pake is going to create a new droplet inside my DigitalOcean account So now we are waiting for the droplet to become active, waiting for SSH and stuff, you know. And here, take a look here, we are dumping everything inside this file, Baker, iPhone Kubernetes. This is what my son I'm looking for milk. <laughs> so Pecker is doing his magic here, installing all the requirements, installing kubeDM, installing kubelet, installing installing everything we need. After everything, okay, let's take a look here. CNI, Kubelet, KubeCTL, QADM, I'm packing now. Now, <clears throat> he's shutting down my droplet here. Okay, it was shut down. And now it's going to create a snapshot. Let's take a look. Not here. Just wait a couple, couple of seconds more. So we need to dump the log. Everything you are seeing here on my screen is going to be dumped inside log because we need to get the ID of the of the of the snapshot and we will use this ID in Terraform to specify the image we are going to use to create the master and um, and the nodes of our Kubernetes cluster here set up.
and we are going to the droplets. Droplets is still running. Then <clears throat> we will create a key pair, an SSH key, and we will inject those. We will use those key to authentication propose to get into our droplets. Now it says that this, the snapshot is completed. We are going to need this ID here in Terraform. Now let's take a look at the images. Snapshot. Okay, the snapshot is here. Now we are going to create a key pair here. I already did it, so I need to override it. So the key is here. This is my private, this is my public. And the next step is to export this one. And then I need to get this ID here. Let's take a look. Cut. Um, Parker dot log. So this is the log I created with the T common, and I need to grab to grab those ID here. So I'm going to I don't get any. Well, this is just some basic Linux stuff. So if I echo this one. Here we go. This is my ID. And in Terraform, I'm going to create, take a look here. The droplet is going to be based on my snapshot ID here. So the next step is to initialize Terraform. Okay, provide the digitalocean, it's okay, then just plan it out. As a best practice, we, we want to be sure that everything is going to go in the way we want, so this is what Terraform is going to do. It will create this one my master and this is the key is going to be used so now terraform terraform apply plan okay this is going to create my master here let's take a look at the droplets okay master is going to be created <coughs> Let's start from do its magic here. After this, we are going to use this utility, very useful one, SSH key scan, and we are going to grab uh, and to hard uh, the SSH key inside the no hosts. But let's that's the droplet creation and okay now it's connected okay now cube ADM is going to run here let's take a look certificate cube config usual cube ADM stuff. Let's wait some seconds more till the process ends. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, this is the command we need to use 
to join the nodes to the master. So the next step is this one. So we are going to scan our master to get and add the key to the no hosts. Then we are going to export the join command. Okay, here. And let's take a look what into this one. Okay, is it sadly? Okay, we need this IP here. And this is the port to the API master. So now we had we got the right command to join, and now we go to plan the next step, which are going to hot two nodes, node zero and node one. Then we are going to apply. Okay, let's take a look at what's happening here. Okay, node one, node two. Now we need some some more steps to you know <clears throat> make the cluster reachable from your laptop from your computer but let's uh, let's prefer terraform do its magic here so let's take a look successful well okay where is Okay, here, connection, okay, so everything went great. So we have, now we got our cluster, now we going to SSH inside the newly created cluster, the key is here, the root, okay. Now we are going to export the kubeconfig. Okay, and kubectl get nodes. Okay, great. Exit. And now let's copy the content on the admin.conf here in the directory. Okay. This is going to, this is the, the, the configuration for my kubectl. Okay, export and get nodes. Okay, now maybe you want to install Calico here for the CNI. Let's do it. Well, we are not going to waste your time here. Just a matter of, of seconds, and everything is going to work, and all the all the nodes and the master will be up and running. I hope you enjoy it. Let's try by yourself.